Gift giving can be tricky, especially for your photographer friend or loved one. They usually have what they need and what they want costs thousands of dollars. On top of that, you probably want your present to be useful for them and their hobby and at least a little bit special at the same time. So you will probably not be happy with buying a screen protector, SD card or camera battery, but there are other accessories you can get that will be special and useful at the same time. One of those could be a quality lens hood. Almost every lens comes with one, but uh, they are usually big, ugly and made out of plastic. These are the reasons why nobody is using them, but you will get a lot of bonus points for gifting a nice genuine metal hood, usually sold separately like the one for Fujinon 23 and 35mm f2 lenses, or a square hood from the currently popular Swedish company. And if your photographer owns a Leica camera, you can bet that a ventilated metal hood from Thorsten Overgaard will be cherished and used well. Another useful, often neglected, but very important accessory is a camera strap. Every camera comes with one, but those are never nice uh, to use or look at. So have a look at rock and roll straps, for example, and go crazy. I've been using this rope strap from them for quite a while with my Leica CL and previously with Fuji X-E3 and received many compliments on how nice it looks and feels when in use. Rock and roll leather straps are on a different level though and you will be the star gift giver if you decide to buy one of those. They are very nice and will last a long time. There are other companies with good reviews like Barton 1972, so I encourage you to do your own research, but be careful. The market with quality leather camera straps is vast and you may get lost easily. The last of specific camera accessories I want to mention is a camera grip. Often neglected, but very useful when mounted on a camera. My experience with using both Fuji X-E3 and Leica CL was transformed to another level when additional grip was mounted. It is usually a relatively expensive accessory and on top of that it doesn't do anything special aside from making the camera bigger. But as I said, ease of use is a key element in how enjoyable a picture taking experience can be. So have a look at what camera your photographer is using and google a grip for it. Always genuine from a respectable aftermarket companies. This is important because you want the grip to feel like it's part of the camera and not an additional piece of metal. But camera accessories can be tricky. Maybe you can't check what camera or lens your photographer is using and so it is impossible to buy a well-fitting lens hood, strap or a grip. In this case it's better to give an opportunity to learn, a voucher for an online course or even a face-to-face -face workshop from a well-known photographer will be appreciated. We photographers don't mind spending money on gear but often neglect investing in education and refinement of skills. Just be careful, there are a lot of online courses on the internet so make sure it was recorded by a famous photographer with a long career in the business. Like for example Joel Majerowicz and his online course at Masters of Photography. Another area often neglected by photographers, especially in today's digital world where everything exists online, are physical prints. Giving a voucher for a set of large prints will make your photographer's head spin. First, because they will have to decide which of the thousands of photos will they send to print and second, when they see what their camera is capable of after seeing the pictures on paper. That can be very motivating for future work because no screen beats a good tangible print photograph. And while you are looking for a photo print voucher, why not get one for an actual photo book? Maybe they will end up printing one for you. But maybe a voucher, a digital gift, is not your thing. In that case, why don't you look around and get them an actual photo book? One from a famous photographer, a photo book that has been appreciated across the industry. One of those can be Genesis from Sebastião Salgado, a photo book that can find its prime spot on any coffee table and will bring inspiration for years to come. An alternative to famous photo books could be, for example, photography books published by iShot, an independent publisher working with street and documented photography authors from all over the world. They are not sponsoring this video, but I like what they do, so check them out. And last but not least, probably the easiest to choose is a good camera bag. There are thousands of variants, but as a gift, you should go for something of high quality and reputation. Big design, 
or onabags are good starting points, but same as with straps, be warned. Once you discover bags from Billingham or Hotancraft, you may struggle to make any decision at all. And if you are still watching, here is a bonus gift idea. The book Creative Calling, written by well-known photographer Chase Jarvis. It's so good, I made a dedicated video about it, so feel free to check it out.